Hello friends, in this video we are going to see how we can change the header of uh, the particular uh, web application which we are developing. So, so far we have seen that we have created menu, we have created sub menu and we have added the articles to the menu, different menus and we have added the module for the latest announcement. We have added the new arrival and ebook also as a banner. And uh, we have added the image crawler module also, which is uh, for displaying the image on the main page inside the article. And uh, we have also added the modular, mod, uh, tabular module, which contains many tabs on one single page and may contain many information. Now we are going to see how we can change the header the header in Joomla or in the particular template. So here it is very important to understand that uh, each template will have different folder which will contain the image file. So first you have to see that where this particular image is kept. So there are there are two methods either either you can go directly to the the template and uh, you can see where in which folder this particular image is kept or you can just copy the image location open another tab and paste it here so you will come to know that this is available inside the demo folder template all rounder image logo and the file name is the logo transpa transparent transparent png so this is important to know because there then only you can update the image or you can download, re-modify it and upload the image to that particular folder. So what I am going to do that uh, this image I have already downloaded and after downloading I have added uh, means edited the image like this and uh, you can see the name of the uh, file is logo-transparent.png the same file. I have modified little bit and I have added the content. Now I am going to upload that image uh, directly through the FTP software that is called Win, uh, uh, Win SCP. This is the software which you can use for transferring the file from your local system to your server. Because sometimes what happens we need to transfer the file from one your local computer to the server where you are hosting your site. So this FTP how you can get I'll, I'll just uh, demonstrate here. Uh, you can download directly from internet. The, it's a very small utility and there are many like this FTP commander is there and then FileZilla is there. So I find WinSCP is uh, suitable or comfortable for me. So I have downloaded this and after downloading you have to you have to log in with your FTP user ID and password which was provided at the time of uh, taking the hosting services from the web host provider. And uh, so I have created my new this one uh, uh, the FTP detail I have entered you can see host name my host name is ftp.dptriparty.in port name username and now when I click on login it will ask me the password to connect to my server so I have to enter my password here and as soon as I complete the password uh, authentication then it will directly connect me to the page inside the my website and uh, here you can see that we were uh, discussing that it is inside the template so you have to double click on the template go to all rounder and then go to images then go to logo and here you will find that particular file so the file which i have modified uh, I'll just will transfer from here see uh, I have edited the file now I'm going to uh, just uh, transfer this file to this location so how you can do this 
simply you can drag and drop it here it will ask to overwrite and there you have to click OK so yes I am going to overwrite so this is going to overwrite the file and transfer the file from local system to this system and now if you go and browse, refresh the page then you will see the change so you can see here now the image is visible on the header and uh, likewise you can uh, design the logo as you wish this is uh, one example I have given here so you can make it more beautiful and uh, you can design the header as per your wish you can change the color also and uh, accordingly you can upload the image so this was all about how you can change the image and uh, for editing the image you can use many software which are available in the market like Adobe Photoshop and uh, the open source software is available for editing the image that is GIMP GIMP and apart from this there are many other good software which can be used to edit the image so hope I have been able to make you understand how you can edit the image and how you can update the image on the website and how you can change the image on the header in the Joomla website so thanks for watching this video and uh, we will see many more in next video